A lot of us have been wondering if the hot and humid weather coming this summer will mean fewer coronavirus infections. We see it with the flu, so will we see it with this pandemic? Researchers research about how viruses survive on surfaces and in the air may shed some light on all of that. Medical reporter Meg Ferris has the details. Look at what happens to other similar viruses when it's cold outside in the upper 30s. No matter what the humidity, the virus survived on a surface for at least a month. So it's kind of like food lasting longer in a refrigerator. Now look at what happens on a day like today with mild pleasant temperatures. Humidity does make a difference. At low humidity, still the virus survives at least a month on surfaces. At 50%, it's only viable for less than a week. But at high humidity, it goes back up, surviving for nearly two weeks. Now let's go to a hot, humid New Orleans summer. The higher the humidity and temperature, the quicker the virus dies off on surfaces, going from days of survival to only hours. Now let's turn to some new information from the National Academies of Sciences, Engineering, and Medicine. Local researcher Dr. Chad Roy of the Tulane Primate Center shared some preliminary findings about how this SARS-CoV-2 survives in the air, not surfaces. That's important since you can contract this new coronavirus when someone with it talks, coughs, or sneezes. Dr. Roy reports surprisingly that this virus has a longer half-life than flu, SARS-1, and tuberculosis. The report calls the results concerning. So, will this new virus be seasonal and be reduced in the summer? Well, studies are conflicting, and even though it seems not to transmit easily in higher temperatures and humidity, we don't know if summer weather will mean fewer infections. Now, why? Well, there's three reasons. First, we don't know how many people were covered and have immunity, meaning fewer people getting sick. Second, the other two coronaviruses that cause serious illness, SARS and MERS, appear not to have been seasonal. And third, keep in mind, we spend summer in the cool, low humidity air conditioning, mimicking conditions where the virus may live longer on surfaces. Meg Farris, Eyewitness News.